This channel was founded on unusual projects, and it's time to get back to those roots with a project that combines two of our greatest passions, model rocketry and leather work. Because today we're going to build a model rocket completely out of leather, and then we're going to see whether or not it'll fly. This project is so dumb that it might actually work. We'll start with this sheet of 4 ounce veg tan leather, and we'll use this spent motor as our size gauge. Looks like this piece is going to work out just fine. The cut piece of leather is 12 inches long by 2.5 inches wide, which will wrap perfectly around our rocket motor. So we get started by running a line of stitches down each side of the leather. Then we measure where we want to put our motor block. We'll use a small piece of leather as a motor block and contact cement it into place. Something like this. Now we're going to move on and design our fins. For this project, we're just going to make basic low profile fins, and this is going to serve as our template. Because of the minimum size of this rocket, I'm only going to use three fins. And there's our stitch line set into place, so let's move on. We've marked two stitch lines for the fins, equidistant apart, and then I'm going to use the main seam of the rocket as the location for the third fin. Time to contact cement that motor block into place. Before construction begins, we're going to dye the rocket with Feebing's Red Pro Dye. Here's all the parts so far, all dyed up with the edges finished and the inside of the rocket slicked with gum drag. We also slicked the rough side of each one of the fins, and all the pieces have been treated with Resoline. This piece here is going to be sewn onto the side of the rocket and used as a launch lug. It'll be rolled something like this and placed right here. So let's start sewing. Launch lug is in place. A second set of stitch lines were punched in for better fin attachment. The first fin is sewn on. Second fin is sewn on. Then the entire body of the rocket is sewn along its length, with the third fin sewn into place at the same time. Now on to the nose cone. This is the basic pattern slash idea that I came up with. I cut it out and punch in the stitch lines. Sewn up, it shapes into a workable nose cone. Let's dye it up and attach it to the rocket. Here's what the finished nose cone looks like. I used a rolled up piece of leather at the nose cone base to attach it to the body of the rocket. There's weight epoxied into the nose cone for balance, and a standard Kevlar shock cord is going to be used. You can see right here that we have a passable center of gravity, but you've waited long enough, it's time to see if this thing is actually going to fly. We're here at the launch field set for the first launch on a low power Estes A83 motor. This is just for a first test run. We're planning for a streamer recovery, and we're going to fly in three, two, and one. That was just about perfect. Low and slow, but absolutely beautiful landing and layout. Let's take a check. We have zero damage, no stitch melting or blowout. Honestly, that flew way better than I expected. So that little A motor worked a little bit too well. So let's press our luck and fly it again. This time on an Estes C65 motor. Going in three, two, and one. This launch here got a little wild, but it flew beautifully. 
quick edit because it landed near some cars, but that thing flew just as reliable as any kit model that I've ever done. Of course, the streamer didn't deploy that second time. I think I failed to roll it tight enough, and the inside of the rocket is really rough, so it kind of grabs onto the fabric. There's not much room in there since this is a minimum diameter rocket. But here we go. No damage, great flight, and with all that, I'll call this oddball project a success. So, what do you think? Cool idea? Dumb idea? Have I set rocketry back a hundred years? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more random content, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.